Ribado Zubrama de Koshanda Balabalabaya. Ribado Subrama de Koshiba la Balabalabaya. I welcome you this morning. Makubrara Jantawa. I welcome you this morning to our live service on Facebook. What a great joy. What a great privilege to be in your bedroom. What a great joy to be in your city room. To be with you on a beautiful Sunday like this. I want to especially appreciate all our, our members of Omega Farm Ministries, uh, Nobles Pavilion, here in the city of Port Harcourt. And I want to bless all our Facebook members, our Facebook viewers. I want to say you are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What a great joy to be with you today. Now, I'd like you to know that you can watch us uh, now on YouTube. You can watch us on YouTube at John Asia, John Asia YouTube page. And you can watch us on We Love Echoes of Fire and even on my official Facebook page on uh, John Asia Facebook. John Asia Facebook page. Amen. You can also watch us there. It's nice being here with you today. I know some of you have been eagerly waiting, you know, to have us on air. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd like us to begin to pray. Let's begin to speak in tongues. Le kapala zobramanda shantaya. Re ko subramanda zi kapala zobramande kosh kapa. Le frege dibolo zibramande koshibala da zumbramanda. Ya te 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 brodoshka. Riba zika pranda lezo brega dushka paya. Re ke ke zubraman de koshata pala zuya. Re frede zuya. E frege de boya. E frege de boya. Elege de broya. Elege de broya. Riba shanda yaka tubramanda. Me ko riba sande ko prede vayata. Ma kabrados kapala zubramanda koshka pa. Ya balaze to brigadesh kapa. Riba dosha. Riba dosha. Riba badeya, ayagadeya, elegadoya, elegadoska, elegadoya, elegadegalegadugajigalega palada, ilogodo walagada jugalega brigade, ilogodo brigade gachugalega palada. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I like, us, I like to thank God for the privilege to be with us today. Now, let us know where you are watching us from. You are watching us from USA, you are watching us from London, you are watching us from Canada, you are watching from, uh, from Nigeria, from Abuja, from Lagos, from Port Harcourt. Comment on our comment page and let us know where you are watching from. It's, my, it's a great privilege to have you with us today. Now, I'm going to bring you God's word and I tell you the truth, God's word is going to radically change your life. And, um, you know, there is something that God has laid in my heart, and that is the fact that I should bring us the word for the now. There is the word for the now. The word to heal the wound of now. The word to take away the pains of now. There is the word for the now. And I'd like you to know that I've been privileged by God to have the word for the now. Amen. Now, let's go into the scriptures. Second Kings. We look at Second Kings chapter 7. 2 Kings chapter, chapter 7. Now, let's go through the Bible together. I love the Bible, and I like it when we read the Bible. 2 Kings chapter 7, we shall read from verse 3 to 9. Verse 3 to 9. It said, And there were four leprous men at the entry in of the gate, and they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit still here, we die also. Now therefore come and let us fall unto the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall but die. And they rose up in the twilight to go unto the camp of the Syria. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of the Syria, Behold, there was no man there. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariot and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. 
And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel had hired against us the king of the Etatite and the king of the Egyptians to come, to come upon us. Wherefore, they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses with the camp as it was and fled for their life. And when these lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink. And tents, and, and carried ten silver and gold and raiment, and went and hid it, and came again, and entered into another tent, and carried tents also, and went and hid it. And they said, verse 9, the last, and they said one to another, we do not well these days, we do not well. This day is a day of good tidings, and we hold our peace. If we tarry till the morning light, some mischief will come upon us. Now therefore come that we may go and tell the king's household. Praise the Lord. This morning I'll be speaking on making the move. Making the move in the lockdown. Making the move in the lockdown. Amen. Now, I'd like you to know that this is the period you must make that move that you have been trying to make. Make that move. Amen. Or you can call the topic, make that move. Amen. In the lockdown. Now, everything in life wants to make you stagnant and stay on one spot. Everything in life wants to make you stagnant and to stay on one spot. And I realize that it takes motion for you to get promotion. That is why I always say that when you proceed, you, you, you will succeed. When you proceed, you must succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, the time of the four leprous men was the time of famine. The time of the four leprous men was a kind of period where we are right now. It was a kind of situation, the kind of time that we are experiencing now. If you study that uh, passage that we read from in 2 Kings chapter 6 from verse 24 to 25, the Bible said there was a king called Ben Adad, and Ben Adad besieged Samaria. Ben Adad was the king of Syria, and the Bible said the king of Syria, Ben Adad, besieged Samaria. What does it mean to besiege? There was a lockdown against Samaria. Just like we are, we are experiencing lockdown now. You know, lockdown did not start today, lockdown started long ago. That is why I say to people all the time, not anything that is happening now has happened before. Bro, beloved, let me tell you something. Nothing should give you, uh, 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 um, nothing should make you uh, uh, have uh, unrest. Nothing, nothing should make you lose your peace in life. Because whatever is happening now has happened before. Let it be settled with you that God has a way, has prepared a way has prepared an escape route for you. Now, we have experienced this kind of situation before, in the world before. The Bible says, Ben Adda, the king of Syria, he besieged Samaria. And guess what? The Bible said, nobody could come in. Nobody could go out. And the Bible said, there was a great famine in the land. There was a great famine in the land of Samaria. And you know what the Bible said? The Bible said, the, the Bible said, an ass head, an ass head, in 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 second Samuel, second Kings like that, chapter six, verse twenty-four to twenty-five, he said, "And as head was sold for four score pieces of silver, and as head, the head of an ass, people were rushing to buy it. And guess what the Bible said? He said that the the dove's dung, the dove's dung, was sold for five pieces of silver. The poopoo -poo of a dove, people were buying it." That is what happened when there is a lockdown. Just like we have now. You see, food, food stops are scarce. But Gary now is like gold. When people see Gary now, it's like they've seen gold. Bread is like gold. That was what happened during the time of the four leprous men. The Bible says Samaria was besieged. Samaria was besieged. But the four men were in one place. The four leprous men, they were seated in one place. But one day they said to themselves, why sit we here until we die? One day they decide to move. Now when I talk about movement, 
I am not talking about just physical movement. I'm talking of mental movement. I'm talking of spiritual movement. I'm talking of uh, intellectual mobility. The four leprous men said, why sit we here until we die? There are some of you now, there are ideas that are flowing through your mind right now as a result of this lockdown. That was how the four lep leprous men, that was how they were. They sat themselves down. They said, why sit we here until we die? If we go into the city, they will kill us. If we sit down here, we die. There are many of us now, we are in such a situation, we are in such a case. We are asking ourselves, why sit we here until we die? Now, it is time to make that move. The four leprous men, they refuse to be stagnated on one spot. The government may lock you down. The government may lock you in. The government may lock you up. But never allow what is inside of you to be locked up to be locked in unlock your potential this is the time to unlock ideas this is the time to unlock your mental capacity are you following what i'm talking about ladies and gentlemen behind every move there is always a mover i'd like you to know that why you are thinking of the boom of the of the of the lockdown rather this is the period of boom for some people why you are you are sitting on one spot and you are regretting some people are making money they are making a lot of money this is the time to make move amen god may not put what you are looking for in your hand but he will surely put it within your reach and i say something in life if you if you if, if you are even if you are you are you, you you fail never drop out even if you fail never drop out the four leprous men they were in such a case now, if you study your Bible, the Bible said they moved into the camp of the Syrians. They said, let us go to the camp of the Syrians. Let them kill us instead of us to die of hunger. Some of you need to make a move. You need to make a spiritual move. You need to make an intellectual move. You need to make a move all around. Amen. This is the time to move. This is the time to call people and begin to build relationship with them. This is time to build relationship. You need to make move in the area of your relationships. This is time to build relationship. This is time to call on people, not to ask for money, but to call on them and check on them. Build relationship with them. There are people you have not heard from for the past five years, for the past ten years. Ah, God has helped them. Some of you, you can't even ask them for money now because you know that you never built relationship with them. You need to make a move in the area of relationship. Number two, you need to make a move in the area of your potential. Have a potential that God has put inside of you. This is the time for you to unlock your potential. Now, I was sharing with someone before I came up a couple of hours ago. I said, I have, I have done my feasibility study right now. I realized that there is an area that the world is moving towards right now. The world, there is a shift. There is a shift. And we just have to accept the fact that there is a shift. Because after the lockdown, the world can never remain the same again. There is going to be a shift in the church. There is going to be a shift in government. There is going to be a shift in the society. There is going to be a shift in the business world. You know, all through this week, I have been meditating on the shift that is going on out there. Now, beloved, I'm going to share some of them with you very briefly. The first shift I realized is that there's a shift in the health sector. There's a shift in the health sector. Listen, whether you like it or not, all those in the health sector are, are, are going to be so valuable right now. Doctors, nurses, health workers, paramedics, and all of that, they are going to be, to be so valuable. Already, we're already experiencing it. Amen. We're already experiencing it. That is why... Some of, some of you can't leave their house. Do you know that while you are asked to sit at home, there are nurses and doctors who are roaming the streets, who are, they are free to move. Guess what? They call them essential workers. They call them essential workers. Even pastors are not being regarded as essential workers. So that tells you that the health sector is going to receive a massive boom. It's going to experience a massive boom. Hallelujah. 
So there is a shift in the health sector. There's a shift in the, in the medical world right now. Hallelujah. Now, another area that there is a serious shift is the area of, of IT, information technology, and the media world. Information technology and the media world. Now, most of the stuffs that are being done right now are being done online. Right now, I'm not preaching, I'm not preaching from the church. I'm preaching at the comfort of my home using the platform of the Facebook, using the platform of the of the of the of the YouTube, of the social media. So that tells you there's a shift, and the shift is going towards the IT sector. Don't deceive yourself. It's going towards the IT. So the two major areas that the world is going to focus on right now is going to be in the area of the information technology. Products are being advertised on the internet. You have digital marketing, you have copywriters, and you have uh, a lot of them out there. The shift is going towards those areas right now. Hallelujah. So you need to make those moves now. This is the time to move towards some of this direction. This is the time to move towards some of this area. Don't be deceived. This is the time to move towards some of this area. And another area that there is a shift is in the area of food, food stuff, food stuffs. These are the basic necessities of life that man cannot do without. No matter how you sit at home, you must eat. You must eat food. You must eat. You must drink water. Food stuff. Now, those in the fashion industry, I'm sorry to let you know that people are not thinking of buying clothes right now. People are not thinking of buying cars. But people are thinking of the internet, the use of the internet. For their business, the use of the internet, Facebook, WhatsApp, and YouTube, and all of that to advertise their business. Hallelujah. So there is a shift in this area. So you must make certain moves now. You must unlock what is deposited on the inside of you. If you don't know how to operate the internet, this is the time to get knowledge. This is the time to get training. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. 
Yeah, I was talking about the four leprous men. They said, why sit we here until we die? They said, if we move into the city, we'll die. If we stay here, we'll die. So they decide to move. And the topic is making that move in the midst of the lockdown. Make that move. Amen. Now, for those of you watching me, I'd like you to comment and let me know that you are watching me. Praise the Lord. Now, I'm going to begin to show us this morning on what you need to know as you make the move. Things you must do to be able to make that move to secure your destiny. Praise the Lord. Now, we, we like to apologize for that little break uh, that we had in our transmission. It was due to the network that our internet service provider, the network provider. Amen. Now, the first thing you must understand if you must make that move is that you must destroy the I can't mentality. Deal with the I cannot mentality in your life. In Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Ladies and gentlemen, let it be settled with you that if others can do it, you can do it. If others can succeed, you can succeed. If others can become millionaires, you can be a millionaire. If others can get a breakthrough, you can also get a breakthrough. Nobody has more advantage than you. Destroy that I can't mentality. Let go of your excuses. A lot of people are giving so much excuses. Oh, I can't do it because of the government. I can't do it because of the economy. I can't do it because my parents did not send me to school. I can't do it because of my wife. I cannot because of my husband. Nothing should be strong enough that should hold you down. Now, if you study your Bible, in Numbers chapter 13, the Bible says 10 spies were sent out. 12 spies were sent out, rather. Amen. And the Bible said 10 of them came back and said, we cannot. But only two people said, we are well able. Joshua and Caleb, they said, we are well able. Praise the Lord. The 10 spies saw the grounds. But Joshua and Caleb, they saw, they saw meek and honey. The 10 spies, they saw the giants that were available. They saw the giants that were around. They said, even in our own eyes, our own eyes, we are like grasshopper before the people. We are like grasshopper. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, you must understand that you can do it if you try. Destroy the account mentality. After the lockdown, there are some of you who need to go back to school. Some of you need to go back to school. Yes, I mean you, you, you that is watching me right now. Some of you need to take courses. You need to take refreshers courses. Some of you need to do courses on health, health management. Some of you need to do courses on nursing. Some of you need to do courses on information technology. Some of you need to do courses on digital marketing. Some of you need to do courses on the media. This is the area where the world is going to us right now. Listen, don't be deceived. Meetings may not be allowed. Crowded places are no longer, may no longer be allowed. You, you will not see a lot of meetings are going to be taking place on the internet. Uh, the Zoom, the Skype, the Facebook. A lot of meetings are going to, to be taking place on the internet. Don't be deceived. Because there's an eye opener now all over the world. In fact, someone predicted that for the next two years, most of these crowded gatherings may not be al allowed anymore. So we must go towards the area where the world is going. You must not be left behind. After the lockdown, a lot of you, yes, you watching me right now, you need to take a course on information technology. You need to take a course on computer. You need to take a course on online marketing, digital marketing. You, you need to take a course on, 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 on copyright and all of that. Amen. You need to take a course on project management. These are the areas where the world is going towards right now. You must destroy the I can't mindset, the I can't mentality. Some of you need to take a course on health. Amen. On nutrition. You need to do courses on nutrition. You need to do courses on health management. Amen. 
These are the area where the world is going, is heading right now. Praise the Lord. I said the first thing is that you destroy the account mentality. Number two, if you must make move now, you must believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You may succeed if nobody believes in you, but you can't succeed if you don't believe in yourself. In Jeremiah chapter 1, God told Jeremiah, he said, Before I formed thee, I knew thee, and I ordained you a prophet. I ordained you a prophet to the nation. God knows who you are. Listen, you are unique in your own way. Nobody is better than you. Nobody should be permitted to put you down. You are unique in your own way. Amen. That is why if you live a life where you want to get people's endorsement, you want to get people's opinion before you do certain things right now, you may never succeed in life. You may never become a millionaire. You may never, you, you may never become a success. You must believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, you will have even problem believing in God. If you don't believe in yourself, you can't even believe in God. Praise the Lord. This is the period to believe in yourself. Even the people say you cannot, believe in yourself that you can do it. Amen. Believe you can do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I realize that if you are waiting for somebody to motivate you, you may die before the person comes. I said something many years ago. I said the best motivation is self-motivation. Because if you are waiting for someone to motivate you, what if the person doesn't show up? What if the person doesn't show up? Praise the Lord. So you must believe in yourself. When you, when you, when you actually believe in yourself, you will start showing it. You will start showing it by the way you talk. You will start showing it by the way you move. You will start showing it by your words. A, comp a, 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 a competent man is a confident man. A competent man is a confident man. Now, when you believe in yourself, it will show in the way you talk. It will show in the people you relate with. It will show in what you do. You don't need people's confirmation. You don't, you don't need people's opinion when you believe in yourself. That is why when many people come and say, God has showed, given me a vision. God has showed me a dream. God has said this about my life. God has said that about my life. God said, I will be this, I will be that, I will be that. But right now, I don't have money. If I had money, I would do this. I tell them, you don't need money. Do you know, beloved, that you don't need money to start up a business? No. You don't need money. What you need is to start. Your first step is your major step. You know what the four leprous men said? They said, if we stay here, we die. If we move, we die. Let us move. Let us take that first step. We, we believe in ourselves that we can achieve it. Let us move. Your first step is your major step. Before people support you with their money, they want to first of all see what you are doing. You must prove to them that you know what you are doing first before you will get their support. For example, God has given you a vision to start a school and you believe in the vision. You believe that you want to start a school. All you need to do is to start the school even in your parlor, in your sitting room, start it in your house. Don't wait till you are able to rent a space. Amen. You know, uh, um, someone was showing um, uh, a, a, a story with me. A young man went to his father and said, Father, I want to build a tower. I want to build a skyscraper. I don't have money to build a skyscraper. And the father looked at the young man and said, you don't need so much money to build a skyscraper. He said, how do you mean? The father said, take your eyes off the skyscraper and start by building one block. Start with one, with one block. When you start with one block, by adding block on, upon block, one block upon another, you will have your skyscraper. Praise the Lord. And the young man looked at the father and began to think about what the father told him. Ladies and gentlemen, beloved, my brothers and sisters, the, 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 it is being said that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. Amen. Believe in yourself. That is the first thing you must understand. You, the, the second thing, rather, you must understand is to believe in yourself. The third thing, if you must make the move, is that you must watch what you think and what you say. Watch what you think and what you say. Someone said, be careful what, you, what you're thinking when you are alone. 
and watch what you say when you are with people. Be careful what you are thinking when you are alone. And watch what you say when you are with people. Yes, 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 yes. Be careful what you say, what you think. I, I say to people that your thinking affects your living. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7, he said, As he thinketh in his heart, so is he. You are a product of your thought life. If you think greatness, you will become great. If you think success, you will be successful. If you think prosperity, you become prosperous. The four leprous men, they refuse to think evil. They refuse to think setback. They refuse to think stagnation. They said, why sit we here till we die? Why sit we here till we die? And they began to say something. If you want to see something, you must say something. What you say with your mouth is a reflection of what you are thinking. What you say with your mouth is a reflection of what you are thinking. My brothers, my sister, what are you thinking? What you say with your mouth is a reflection of what you are thinking. If you don't think, you will stink. If you don't think, you will stink. Amen. Praise the Lord. So you must say something. You must say where you want to be. Talk about where you want to be. Talk big. Talk big. Don't see things and keep quiet. Talk. I'm going to be the next governor of the state. I'm going to be the next Bill Gates. I'm going to be a, 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 a millionaire. I'm going to be a billionaire. I, I was preaching in church last Sunday, and I told them, I said, don't be scared of calling money. When, when, when someone says one billion, some of us keep quiet. So what are you talking about? One billion, that is a whole lot of money. Of course, you may not have it, but don't be scared to call it. You may not have it, don't be scared to say it. When you see something, say something. Praise the Lord Jesus. So if you must make a move, you must keep talking. You must keep saying it until you get to where you want to be. Until you get to your destiny. Keep talking. I always, I always, I always say to people, my father and the Lord, Apostle John C. Suleiman, he got to where he is right now by saying certain things. Back in the days, he would begin to say, I am a millionaire. I have money. I am a billionaire. I am this. I am that. And then we begin to look at him and we wonder, what is he talking about? What is this man talking about? He will look at me and say, they just, they just gave me a car. And we, we, we like, where is the car? He said, don't worry. He will look at us and say, I have a TV station. You know, I'm preaching on TV. And then we could not aff afford video cameras. We, we, we could not afford the snapping cameras. But God's servant, Apostle Suleiman, was so bold enough to say what he wanted to see. We look at me then and say, I saw something many, I saw that many years from now, I'm going to be a preacher that the whole world will listen to. We are going to have churches abroad. We are going to have churches in US. We are going to have churches in, 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 in UK. And I'll be looking at him. But I didn't know that the man was saying what he wanted to see. Keep talking where you want to be. Don't talk failure. Don't talk defeat. When people are complaining about the lockdown, don't join them to talk. Tell people God is great. We are making progress. Everything is working together for our good. Number four, and then we, before we close, the last one I want to talk about is network. 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 Network with people. Network with positive people. Network with positive people. Praise the Lord. Network with positive people. A great man said, your network is your net worth. Your network is your net worth. I have been doing a study on this. You need to build relationship with people. Build relationship with positive minds. Build relationship with people who can help you get to where you are going to. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There are both positive and negative people in the world. Avoid the negative people. Avoid people who put you down. Avoid people who talk you down. Avoid people who tell you you can't make it. Oh, you are telling the person, oh, I want to go back to school. I need to study. I need to, I need to go back. I want to study. Uh, maybe you are, you are a, a nurse. You say, I want to study. I want to be a medical doctor. Oh, you cannot do it. You can't achieve it. Oh, I, I need to go back. I want to do projects. Uh, management. I want to do digital marketing. They tell you you can't do it. Avoid them. 
This is the time to network with people who believe in your dream. This is the time to network with people who will support your dream. My beloved, my brothers and sisters, my esteemed members, believe in people who can support your dream. Amen. Believe in people who can tell you you can make it. Who tell you you will succeed. Not people who tell you you cannot make it. Amen. There are people you tell, I want to start up my own business. I want to be an entrepreneur. They tell you, oh, you don't have the capital. Oh, you don't have the money. Oh, you don't have the finances. Oh, where do you start from? Oh, you, don't, you know, avoid such people. Connect with people who can help you get to where you'll be. A great man said, where you will be in the next five years is determined by, number one, the number of books you read, and number two, by the number of people you meet. So I'd like to advise you, connect with the right people, meet the right people, meet the right people. Now, there are people you must not relate with. These are people who are not ambitious. Some people are not ambitious. They are just satisfied with the status quo. They just want to eat, sleep, work, get a job, and earn salary, and feed their family. That's all. They want to stop there. They don't want to be, they don't, they, they, they don't want, they are not ambitious. They don't want to, they don't want to be known all over the world. They don't have a future. Avoid them. So you must network with people of positive mind. You, you, must, you must network with people of positive mindset. Praise the Lord. You must network with people who believe in your dream. You must network with people who support your vision. People who support your dream. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, as we come to the end of this teaching for today, I'd like to let you know that I love you so much. I love you so much. I would like to get your feedback. Comment on this platform where you are watching me from. We like to read your comment. Let us know where you are watching from. Let us know you are watching us from US, from UK, from Canada, from, from, from Nigeria. I'd like you to know that we love you so much. I would like to contact me. My, 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 my personal phone number is on the screen right now. It's on the screen right now. 080-3309-4548. And also, I want to invite you to watch us on our YouTube page, John Asia. And also on our Facebook, We Love Echoes of Fire. And on our official, on my official Facebook page, uh, John Asia. Amen. I look forward to hearing from you. Till I come your way again, same platform. Next time, keep staying safe. God loves you, and so do I. Amen.
all we've come to do Casting crowns Lifting hands Bowing hands 